We now welcome Jesse Olivares with the Food Bank of the Golden Crescent. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Thank you. Good morning. I really appreciate it. Well, and you're here to talk about a very important topic. Yes, ma'am. Something that the Food Bank doesn't always get recognized for, and that's social services. Right. In our department there, we like to call ourselves like servants. And because we believe in helping people. What we are, we are certified also with the Health and Human Services in doing these things. And we try to help out with from SNAP. They also have it for seniors as well, age oh. 60 and above. It's called TSAP. And then there's Medicaid, child, uh, uh, gosh, I forgot, prenatal, prenatal, WIC. Uh, WIC. Well, WIC is a different thing. Oh, okay. But we do CHIP, and then we go with that. And then we also help with Medicare savings programs for our seniors and try to get because they're taking out $170 from their Social Security check, hopefully try to get that back for them. And, and when you get people in your office, how surprised are they to learn that they qualify for these programs? Well, the thing is that we don't make the decision they qualify. What we do, we help them and we go through the application process. And we try to reinforce them because a lot of them come in to ask questions. Well, I either make too much money, I won't qualify, or I've never done this before, things like that. Here in our community, we have experienced Hurricane Harvey and COVID-19, which has changed our life tremendously. Definitely. So uncontrollable events. And the so, pandemic, for sure. Exactly. People going to the food bank for the first time right. ever. We've had people come in that have never experienced it before. And they've always said, well, I've always donated, but I never thought I'd rely on it. We don't turn anybody away. We're there to help anybody how to improve their lives, how to be better at what they can do, you know, build up their, their self-esteem. But with the uh, application process, we do the process form, we get it all, everything is confidential. Wow. We practice the HIPAA. So anything that's said between us stays in that office. We're the only two within the food bank where we don't share information with anybody else. That's how confidential we keep it. And then it goes online, it goes to the state, and then the state gets back with them, hopefully get them approved. So we show them how to do these things because it's like doing taxes sometimes. You get confused. Yeah, definitely. Yes. When you're on that IRS website navigating, it helps to have someone at least on the phone exactly. to help you navigate all that. Well, exactly. let's go ahead and share some of that information so our viewers can get in touch. YourTexasBenefits.com is the page to go to learn about all the resources, mm -hmm. but if you want to hear it directly from a person in the flesh. <laughs> we'll help them and guide them through it. <laughs> go to 3809 East Rio Grande, and you can actually call Jesse directly at 361-935-4800, and the general number is 361-578-0591. Thank you, Mr. Olivares, for all you do no, to help our you. community. There's two of us in that program, Ursula Garcia and myself, so <laughs> feel free. <laughs> Very nice. Welcome to our viewer poll review. Recently, we asked, are government officials doing enough to stop gun violence throughout the U.S.? 26 of you said yes, 116 of you said no. We also asked, do you consider yourself for or against COVID-19 mandates? 109 of you said yes, 127 of you said no. Go to crossroadstoday.com slash vote to take part in our viewer polls. And next week, we'll hear from candidates running for the Victoria County clerk seat, Harbor Hospice, and more. Thank you for joining us for Community Crossroads. To learn more about our guests and their stories, come to our website and have a great weekend.